Welcome back to another episode of Original Understudies, where I've gathered the world's most original understudies, and we're going to perform improvisational comedy for you. Uh, we've got, uh, it's each week it seems like, I don't know how long it'll last, we get a super special extra new person, and I'm going to save that person for last. And no chopped liver coming this way, but we got Amy Burry back. Thanks for joining us, Amy. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm doing great. Um, yeah, I sound a little strange this morning. I talked too much last night, so... <laughs> what were you doing that made you talk so much? Talking. Just I was regular just conversation. <laughs> hanging out with a gal pal, and we talked for hours. I've never just hung out with a friend so much that I lost my voice. It happens. Were you in an argument? <laughs> you <laughs> should try it sometimes, James. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I didn't think you sounded strange. Where okay. can people find you, Amy, uh, online? Um, on Instagram at Burry, B-U-R-Y 0007, and then Amy Burry 1 on Twitter. Great. And welcome back, Jackie Schwartz. I'm back. Uh, one of the hosts of Florida People. Florida um, person. Sorry, Florida person, but there's two of you. There is, yeah, yeah. But I have the... I. I own the the like actual domain to Florida person, so that's why we called it that. So you know, <laughs> that's a great reason. And I've owned that domain for years because one time I got real blasted and just started buying domains. So <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so where else can people find you online? Uh, you can also find me on YouTube at uh, Jackie in the Park. Is my YouTube channel in there? Cool. Uh, and welcome back, Landon Kirksey. Uh, where can people find you? How are you doing? Hi, James. Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks very much. Um, people can find me wherever dreams are made. <laughs> oh, are uh, you like a Freddy Krueger type? That's me. That's me. Um, you know, they can find I'm, I'm on the instant grams as well. Uh, Splandon is my uh, name there. S-P-L-A-N-D-O-N. But there's not much there. You know, I post every Every Sunday about an album I'm listening to. That's probably it. That's kind of the <laughs> extent. Same album, or do you well, listen to a new album? I mean, I try week? to. I try to make them new. I try not to repeat. But uh, but well, algorithm, it's never heard music before. That algorithm never. does not make its way to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that's, that that's, that's that's odd. My one singular post a week doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't surface somehow. That's very strange. Uh, and finally, welcome for the first time, fresh off the Omaha Comedy Festival, Max Crandall. How are you, Max? Hi, I'm good. Great to be here. I. Uh, th thanks for joining us. Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me on Instagram as well, uh, uh, at Uncle Crandy. Um, it's a very silly <laughs> Instagram I don't like name. That. <laughs> and watch uh, Beavis and Butthead on Paramount Plus. I am the editor for that. So oh my out. god, wow. that's incredible, Max! I've yeah. been watching, and uh, you know, just want to say I have notes. Oh yeah. <laughs> so do it's you edit rough. in like all the fart sounds and like <laughs> it does all the fart sounds. You know Is that what? you? Is there's, that you? There's a lot less farting than I would have imagined in Beavis and Butthead. That's all I associate it with. It's, it's a lot more smacking. There's, I think there's more violence oh, yeah, than yeah. like farts. It's like punching and kicking. And stuff like I mean, that. I'm sure that it's the last thing you want to do, but I'd like to talk to you about all my favorite episodes of Beavis and Butthead after this. I did not know you were the editor. Oh, well, I mean, the new, the reboot. I'm the editor for I haven't the seen reboot, the reboot, so. which means I don't have any I, bad feelings about it. It is very good. It. I will Are you the American. only editor? Do they only have you? There's two of us. It's me and Crazy. another guy named Phil. Wow. Well, I mean, we're the picture editors, and then there's animatic editors, and there's, uh, you know, radio play editors, so... But oh, I'm, like, I'm not going to pretend like I know what any of that yeah. means. You know? <laughs> I am not listening to Beavis and Butthead on the radio, the period. One. That's all you got to know. <laughs> Great. Um, well, without further ado, we're going to get into this improv. Uh, but let me ask people to please send suggestions to original understudies podcast at gmail.com. And if you could, leaving a review really helps us get this snowball effect and have a bigger and bigger audience audience 
for original understudies. So today I've allowed and I promise to the public, I won't just allow this person to cut to the front of the line every time they want a, a suggestion in the queue. But Toy Vocalio is our mastering engineer. And he asked me on the thread that he was doing free labor if he could give me a suggestion. And I was like, okay. I said, yes. I, in fact, I didn't, and, and I meant it. Yes. But for the record, this is fucking it. Uh, <laughs> uh, otherwise, it, it has to go through the regular queue. So Toivo has sent in a very old but lively grandmother tries to start a youthful sports channel on social media and uses unwilling but politely participating neighbors as training partners. Now, keep in mind, we're not going to do this scene. We're going to talk about what this suggestion inspires. Are we going to call the police on Toivo? Is that what we're going to do? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Was that? <laughs> uh, if you guys don't mind, and I hope he doesn't feel cheated out of this uh, suggestion, but let me explain to you the first time I met Toivo virtually in a call like this. He has an hour long bike ride to work. Oh. And on that hour long bike ride, he does FaceTime calls. And at first I was like, oh, cause we had a scheduled appointment and, uh, to like chat. And he, um, not like, voice he was calls, like, oh, I'm FaceTime calls. Face, like FaceTime, but on Discord. Okay. And I was like, oh, if this isn't a good time for you, um, we could do it. And he's like, no, this is great. I do this all the time. <laughs> and sure enough, we took like an hour. We were on Discord talking for like an hour and he did not seem phased at all by like just biking. Where is he biking? Like what city? Finland. Oh, okay. I don't want to dox him. No, no, I don't no, no, dox no, no, no. I don't want to dox him either. But like <laughs> okay. there's a huge difference between like biking in L.A. where you need yes. to just, like be very mm-hmm. focused on what you're doing. A hundred percent. Biking in a place that like actually likes bikes and doesn't try and like, uh-huh. you know. Did you find, where did you find, did you go to insane Fiverr to find this guy? Like what is, what is going on <laughs> that you're like, oh, you uh, know, I, I went I, to I insane get- Nunzo. <laughs> well, no, he was, he was a fan. He was a fan of, uh, of alchemy this for many years oh, that's and mm-hmm. like uh, offered out of the kindness of his heart. Cause I told, I said, I didn't have the money and I had explained how much time and effort it took me to put out shitty sounding episodes. And he was <laughs> just super kind and like has taken it on himself to do but it. But now we get a window I, inside the dark heart of Toivo where <laughs> yeah. he, there is a, an old woman who is now uh, forcibly making people play sports. Is that what this was? Well, if you had an old lady neighbor that wanted to start a YouTube channel and she was sweet, would you would you just do it to be nice, a nice neighbor? Absolutely. I, yeah, I would do it for the niche value, I think. Yeah, the story. And also uh, there's something about wanting to please someone who might not be around that much longer. Yeah. <laughs> or you feel like you have to like. You know what? I'm going to say no, though. I'm going to say I wouldn't. I wouldn't help this woman at all because I don't care for sports on YouTube. I think it's like, it's mm-hmm. an overblown genre for one. And also like, really? uh, you know, I was like, I don't need that. I don't think sports need to be recapped actually in general. I don't think they, I think they could be counted down, but I don't think they need to be recapped because <laughs> we already saw it. You know, I, I think it depends on what she's asking for. Like if she's asking yeah, for I me to really- partake in like the YouTube activities. Sure. But if she's coming to me going like, how do I upload? Can you help me record? <laughs> yeah. uh, what, that, I'm happening. like, I'm like, call your grandchildren. It's not, that's what not. If she's, yeah, like, if she's old enough, can you just trick her and just like, you know, put like a cardboard box in front of her and be wow. like, it's I mean, that's, that's, we thought Toivo was messed <laughs> wow. up. I guess it's yeah. Jackie. Who's really- <laughs> oh, Jackie's definitely messed up. If Don't let Jackie yet. work with the elderly. <laughs> I, you know, I, all just my grandparents have been dead for many people. years, and maybe I'm out of touch with old people. <laughs> but what I was picturing was, and this might be completely wrong, but this woman of elder age be like fulfilling her dreams of being a Richard Simmons type. And like, I would work out as hard as she would work out. And I'm not hoping that it's, I get to see her demise, but you know, I'll have my phone ready in case and I can make a video if something happens at the end of that workout. What if it was like street fighting though? Like she wanted you to fight people for her. Ooh, you know, it'd be cool if it was like elderly people street fighting each other, like an elderly fight, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, as long as it's of their own free will. Like, I, I don't want anybody that's being tricked into fighting. I would love to see an old people cage match. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Kevorkian's cage match. Well, when, like, you're old enough that you're like, look, you know, like, my body's already breaking down to a certain degree. I might as well, like, you know, help it along a little bit and throw a punch at, like, this, this well, guy. I tell you, you could take the girl out of Florida, but... <laughs> <laughs> Studies. Um, I don't know what you mean, Fight Club, in the basement of IHOP. I just am a host here, so if you'd like to get a table, the two of you can sit down. Listen, I know you're holding out on us, okay? I talked to Fran. She sent me here. Fran, Fran you know Fran. Don't play stupid with me. She's got the griddle cook. beehive hair cook. Yes, beehive hair cook, griddle cook. She oh, told me oh. <laughs> there's a fight club downstairs. Show up here after hours, right as you're closing. I mean, we are closing, but we technically have to serve you for the next 15 minutes. Okay, well, I'll take a stack of something hot and then I want to fight. I'll have a grand slam. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll get you guys both a, a, well, Grand Slam is about the hottest stack we can find. So I'll get you both a Grand Slam. And eggs uh, and bacon. I th- Honey, okay. you know you get gassy when you have too much food before you fight. I don't want to see this happen, okay? It's my secret weapon. Oh, you're both planning on fighting tonight? Listen. No, uh, she's my I'll ring. She's my, she's my coach. I'll go get Fran. I'll be right back. Just take a seat over here. Are you really coming in here with an order 15 minutes before close? Fran, uh, these people seem to be your friends. What what are their Uh, orders? Well, a stack of something hot and a Grand Slam that has eggs and bacon. A Grand Slam is from Denny's. You you haven't even memorized the menu. How long have you worked here? I, it's my first week, Fran. These guys had the confidence that you wouldn't believe. I, I, I don't know what to say. Come here. They, they think Come there's a fight club in the Come basement. Come closer to me. Okay. There is a fight club in the what? basement. Fran, that sounds illegal. Yeah, well, it is illegal because it's not even a real basement. It's just a crawl space. How many people do you have fight in the crawl space? Well, we all crawl in and then we throw as many punches as we can reach. All right. Well, I'll tell them. All right. Um, excuse me. Um, yes. I talked to Fran. It was my mistake. There is a fight club, but it's not in a basement. It's in a crawl space. So I doubt you guys want to fight in a crawl space. Well, hold on. Let us chat about it. Honey, how do you feel about small spaces? I know you're used to bigger, you know, larger ceilings, but can you do it in a small space? Have we got any like uh, lard or something yeah, to grease, grease me I've up? Got, I've got three different kinds of grease in the trunk. Just as long as I'm not, for you. as long as I'm not constricted. Okay. I feel like, let me at them. I don't know. Okay. I, okay. I don't, sweetheart, you know yeah. me. I don't want to be around anymore. You know? I know. I know. You're ready this, to go, baby. And I'm ready, I'm ready to, to see go. you go. I'm, I'm so sorry. I should have stepped further away, but I heard that. Listen, don't let this be the way you end yourself. There's better ways to go. Who are you to decide how my husband of 20 years is to go? Well, I guess it's not my business, but... I get to decide, and today's the day. (laughs) We got married 70, 20 years ago. Original Understudies. Okay, uh, Grandma, your computer's all set up. Uh, Everything seems to be working on it. There we go. And I set up your email account, so that's exciting. Oh, wow. All right. Well, now I, I just have to start giving out my my email to friends. Yeah, you could yeah. do that. Yes, and we could keep in uh-huh. touch. Uh huh. Okay. What's so your much, email? What's your email? I'm, my my email is. Oh, the, hold on. Let me get a pen. Okay. It's it's the greatest Timmy at Yahoo. Dot com. Oh, that's not really your email, is it? No, it, it is. It absolutely is my email address. The so. greatest, the greatest, because you've got, you've got siblings. 
but but they're not called they're not named Timmy. So I'm, you know, Tim, I'm Timothy. When you get to a certain age, all of your grandchildren become Timmy's. Really? Uh, I haven't differentiated between any of you in years. I, that's OK, Grandma. I just I want you to feel connected to us. I don't want. You mm-hmm. to feel isolated, you know, since we, since we had to, since you live here now, mm-hmm. and it's a very, this is a very nice place. This is a very nice place. They, they've got a cafeteria. Oh, there's yeah. mm-hmm. activities. I like the activities. You got lots of friends here. I think I, that's really good. I know a number of people now. Right. And then mm-hmm. now also mm-hmm. you can send emails and we can email you back and we can kind of keep in touch. I can and send emails. I can send Now I've. I've been, I've been thinking about streaming. I've been thinking about streaming. Have you heard of Twitch? Uh, yes, Grandma. Have I've, you heard I've, of Twitch? Yeah, no, I've heard of Twitch, yes. Well, I've been thinking about getting on Twitch and just sort of streaming my day, you know? It's wake up, 6.30 a.m., shop, right? You know, someone gives me a Dixie cup full of, of tablets. I take the tablets and then I'm wheeled off to the cafeteria. I think that's a good, this is a good idea, Grandma. You could do whatever you want. And, you know, it's good to have hobbies. Original studies. Mr. and Mrs. Kowakowicz, uh, your mother has been a wonderful, wonderful addition to our family here. But she's been taking drugs, like not the ones we give her, and streaming um, on t- some t- t- tw- twigs. I-, I don't know what it is. Is, is she making but, money doing it? Well, first of all, any money made here is is considered uh, revenue that we've created, so mm. that wouldn't matter either way. Mm. But what we're concerned, well, as we're concerned uh, about is uh, Director Carlson. Uh, if, if I could just see you really fast in my office here, Terry, sure, I, I'm I'm under the understanding that you are making money off of your residence. That is absolutely not the policy of this company. Oh, but. Oh really? No, that's, but they've always done the crocheting and. Uh, yeah, that's. Oh, did you not know? No, about that's this? correct. But we don't. So I've noticed that you've maintained an Etsy shop for some time. Yes, yeah, so, I mean it's a, honestly I make quite a bit of money. Yeah, there. that's that's probably a fireable offense. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> well, no one ever gave me a warning. Okay. Don't you get here's, three? Yeah, here's your warning. Here's another one. And here's a third no, one. No, 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 no. That's cheating. Well, I know. I think you cheating is. two warnings in one sesh. Original understudies. All right, you dick bags. It's Fran 42069. I'm being wheeled currently into the cafeteria. Put your predictions in the comments. Is today's dessert going to be cheesecake? Is it going to be pie of a fruit concoction? Or is it going to be that pink foam stuff? Put your predictions. In the comments. Bling, 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 bling. All right, a lot of you, a lot of you are saying cheesecake. Let's see if you're correct. Ah! Uh, we got peach cobbler. Here we go. Oh, all right. Who put fruit concoction? <laughs> all right. All right. Well, you are going to win your very own prize package. Put your address in the comments. Original understudies. All right. Uh, I know you guys are used to working over in the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the children's ward, but we need uh, we need some help here today in the, uh, you know, the the senior ward. Um, generally, uh, they eat around noon, uh, and then they eat again around four. They don't like to eat dinner late. And um, if they ask you any questions and you don't know, just lie. Just go ahead. That's and- what we do with the kids. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that, sir? I said, that's what we do with the kids. Oh, yeah, that's right. So just treat them the same way. Yeah, you know, the elderly are a lot like children. Yeah, you just basically, they don't have a lot of time left. You just tell them whatever you need to to get them out of your hair. You know? <laughs> when do we do the balloon animals? <laughs> that's my favorite part about working with children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no balloons. Unfortunately, if any of the balloons pop... It tends to send several of them uh, into a cardiac, you know, arrest. So, but, you know, I mean, it, look, it's have some fun with it. Um, if any of them ask where their children are, 
why don't you, you can pretend to be their children for the day. You know, I love you this. Want. I love this. This is, I studied improv for years. Um, so oh, this is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. You'll, I, I'd love to, you want to, I've got a team that we perform oh on gosh. the weekends. I don't know. Wait serious? a second. You never offered me to join the team. Yeah. Um, Jonathan, just, uh, just go somewhere <gasps> else, man. I don't know. Like, Oh, uh, uh, Victor, listen, I, I need you. I need to see you in my office for a second. Um, I understand that you have an improv team and uh, you are soliciting for members uh, or possible well, audience members at this uh, at in this uh, facility. And I, I'm sorry, that, that's a fireable offense. Well, soliciting is wait, a fireable offense. I mean, yeah, that's, you, don't, that you have is, to warn me. I got to give me some sort of a warning. All right, here's, like here's a warning. Here's a warning. Here's oh, a warning. Oh, oh come on, come on. So. That seems a little unfair. That's cheating. No, no it's, right. not, it's not cheating. It, What's it cheating? Is cheating. No, it's not. Is it, aren't you supposed to say yes? No. <laughs> oh, gotcha. oh, you got me. Gotcha. Yes, I am supposed to say yes. Oh, hey, do you want to join the team? You, you got a great foundation. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm not funny. <laughs> I, hey, you know what? Truth and comedy, my friend, right? You, you really think I'd be all right? Original Under Studies. I always hated it, like, uh, when we would go perform at a college and no one would show up and we'd have to do, like, the dorm storm thing. Oh, yeah. I always hated doing that because it just feels like you're like, please, come on, we're paid to be here. We really <laughs> want to make sure that, you know, we actually fulfill the contract, <laughs> you know? Wow. Well, yeah. you know, it's, it's funny is that, you know, me and Landon, you were, me and Landon were on a team together um, and we used to throw parties and basically trick people into coming to our show. We'd have a party oh, no. and there'd be a bunch of people at the party. And then no. like, and then like, it like, cause our shows were at midnight or like oh, they were no. late. Yeah, they and were so late. like around 11, we'd be like, okay guys, get in a car. We're going to the show. <laughs> it was good. It worked. it worked. It worked was. just fine. It wasn't. That is my worst fear is that a party's going to turn into an improv show. <laughs> Anybody was free to leave. You, you, say, we you can do whatever like, you want. We weren't forcing people at gunpoint. It was more like a knife, you know? That's like when somebody at a party like pulls out, like they're like, here, uh, let me show you some pictures from like our trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, the power up, you guys had pretty big audiences. Yeah. So it must have worked. And you guys were a pretty good team. Oh, it worked. So I think both of those things together made it so that people would still go to your parties because otherwise that's a that's a one trick yeah, thing. They, like, they <laughs> mostly knew <laughs> ahead for of time. A shitty show yes. one time. I think maybe there was one time where we caught some people off guard. But after a while, it, it, people got the gist that it was like, yeah, you come to a party, you go to the show. The, the bigger problem was getting because the party was in Hollywood and the show was in Santa Monica. So that's like asking oh someone to go God. to Mars. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I, oh. That's crazy. I had no idea. Yeah. We would, I mean, like, we would kind of stay sober. And we'd be the drivers. We would be like, all right, yeah. everybody get well, in my I car. Because you're also the performer. Yeah, yeah. Well, at also least that. at that time of the night, you probably didn't hit like a bunch of traffic. Like if you did that in the middle of the day, I'd be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all those parties in the middle of the day. I don't know, man. <laughs> She's the Florida, Florida people. It's the best time to drink <laughs> during the middle of the day. Then you can go to bed at a normal time. That yeah, is why it. it's hard to get people to improv shows. That's if they're yeah, late. Now it's true. And also day drunk is a way harder feeling than night drunk. I don't know. It just hits so much hard. I think it's like the sun. The sun hits you at the same time like your drink does. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> yes. Like, have you guys ever drank at the beach before? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've done it. I don't enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, it's tough. Honestly. It's actually kind of hard to do the older yeah. you get. <laughs> There's yeah. no shelter. No yeah. shelter. And, and the, you really need water. Yeah. But you're not, you're not drinking water. I mean, it's fun. To, I think it's pretty fun to drink at the beach. The issue being that like, then when you're drunk and you're like, oh, I'm stuck here at the beach now for several more hours. <laughs> now, like, now you live at the beach. Yeah, like, like most sober, of the people in Venice. I gotta sober up. Now. That's how a lot of them got here. I can there. see how you got here now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm a big proponent of drinking anywhere you go, uh, but in the car, <laughs> not in the car. Yeah, everywhere, that's but smart. everywhere that it's uh, where your two feet are on the ground. 
is a, it's a good charm. So you are the Florida person, right? I mean, this is this is what we're learning. We, uh, you know, <laughs> I just if I'm drinking, especially during the day. It's more natural at night. I get tired. Yeah. So if I'm like drinking at the beach, I'm just going to get really sluggish. Uh, like that's also why I don't really drink before I do shows because it kills my energy. I'd rather smoke weed, which some people, it makes them tired. Not me. I get more hyper <laughs> um, when I smoke pot. I get paranoid. I go right to paranoid. <laughs> well, I get paranoid too, but there's nothing relaxed or like docile <laughs> about being paranoid. It's that hard I'd be like, do you guys, you don't think I'm funny, do you? <laughs> That's what the entire show would be. You're laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can only do uh, the marijuana. It's like at night. Because no matter what the strain, the it makes marijuana. me want to go to sleep. <laughs> it makes me want to sleep. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know, this that is. Oh, wake up! You can't sleep on the beach. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Uh, yeah. Hey, you, you can't sleep here. You gotta. Uh, yeah. Are you okay? I, I was, uh, I was just playing volleyball with my friends. Where are it's, my friends? Uh, Where are my? F- I, uh, I had, like I had a white claw. I had a white claw, and before you know, oh, it, you're not supposed to be drinking at the beach. This is. It was Santa just Monica. a white claw. It was barely even alcohol. It's well, water. It's water. It just takes a little. Listen, miss, you're going to have to get up. The tide's coming in. So if you just sleep here, you're going to get washed away. I don't know if I can. Maybe that would just be better at this point. Well, maybe get washed away to the ocean. Maybe I maybe I could. I I, I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot stand up. I can barely lift my head. It feels like my whole head is like a bowling ball. It's the heaviest my head has ever been in its life. Well, look. Okay, that's uh, that sounds pretty serious. So I'm just gonna lead uh, it right back here, right back. Oh, oh no! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You can't go to sleep. Here. Uh, uh, where are my friends? Original in the studies. Sally, Sally, is that you? Yeah. Uh, oh my God, it's been you, five years. Damn, you left me at the beach. We were dr- you drank a white claw and you laid down during that beach volleyball game and. <laughs> No yeah, one's seen you, you left for me at the beach. You left me at the beach. I've been at the beach this whole time. I've been into the water. I got sucked into the water. Nobody could stop it. And I, you know, I, I just, uh, I lived in the water for five years. We had a ceremony. We buried a you empty bet. box. Was it nice? Was it nice? It was a pine. It was a pine box. That's nice. That's yeah, nice. It was nice. Your family... Well, they're they're kind of doing better. Oh, they're doing. Who's that you're talking to at the beach? Who is this? Oh, this is, is this an ex girlfriend or something? Well, nah. I mean, we hooked up a couple times. We weren't like. Oh, I thought it was a little. It was oh, kind of, was five it years more ago. Se- it was a little. It meant a little more to me. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh, so hi, I'm Janice, and we're engaged. What's your name? Hi, I'm this I'm is Sally. Sa- I'm I'm a bird, beach person now. Oh, yeah, okay. Sally, let's, let's I, go. I live Janice, by the go. water. Janice, in the oh. water, mostly. I, we can Sally, see. Janice, Janice has given me that. She's given me that, you know, that signal, the, the next signal. That's our signal. Don't tell her about the oh, signal. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just so, I, I feel so honest around you, Janice. You know, I just, I can't lie. Original understudies. Okay, so uh, are we rolling? Is Camera this? rolling. Okay, great. White Claw Hard Seltzer. One sip and you'll escape your life forever. They'll have a funeral for you. You won't ever have to go back to your old life again. White Claw, it's your funeral. Uh, Are you sure this is the right copy? Yeah, yeah, it's what the client gave us and clients always write. You know, um, I I hope it's not weird that I'm also... uh, you know, recording on a camera, this VO session, but no. we just, you know, we like to get a little behind the scenes thing going on too. So, you know, just keep, you want, maybe you want to try the alt copy. I see there's some alt copy underneath. Yeah. If yeah. that's maybe yeah. a little bit. Yeah, this one might be a little bit, this is a little bit easier probably. Um, okay. Cool. Do you want to just take that? <clears throat> Rolling? Rolling. White Claw Hard Seltzer. Your life was terrible. Now- it's different. Escape everything. Leave. 
to walk into the ocean and become a mer person. White Claw. I am loving this. I'm loving what you're giving me. Can you just put Thank a you. little bit more of a smile on it? Oh, yeah, you know? of course. Like put yeah. more of a smile yeah. uh-huh. and a little bit of a wink, yeah. too. Oh, okay. Got it. A little rye, a little rye yeah, sensibility. A little rye. Got yeah. it. Got it. Cool. <clears throat> Rolling? Rolling. White Claw Hard Seltzer. Your life is terrible, but now it's over. White Claw, it's your funeral. Original on the studies. Who the fuck made this advertisement? This isn't us. We didn't make this advertisement for White Claw. Somebody's making rogue advertisements out there, and I know it's somebody in this room. Listen, I just... Janet. I took some... Janet, you better answer him, and you better answer him right now, brother. you, You wanted me to take some initiative... Okay, you wanted me to take some initiative. And I just thought, like, if I'm ever going to move on from social media manager, I'm going to have to start, like, coming up with some mind-blowing shit, okay? Like, mind-blowing. Janet, you took some initiative as the only woman in the room, and that takes initiative. But also, White Claw, it's sort of a men's drink. I don't think you know the vibe. I don't think you get the vibe. I couldn't, couldn't it also be a desperate woman's drink, too? Janet, look at everybody in this room is related okay. in one way to the late, great Randy Macho Man Savage, except for you. You're the one outlier, brother. Yeah. Oh, no. Which means I got to work extra hard to prove to all you people with scratchy voices that even though I don't have a scratchy voice, that inside I have a scratchy attitude, you know? Janet. Like I get. Janet, you don't understand. You don't get the whole vibe of the White Claw. White Claw is bubbly. It tastes like one. It's easy to drink. It's a mixer for other drinks. We're talking about malt liquor here, all right? We're talking about the stuff that messes you up real bad. This ain't no lady's drink. It's a man's drink. You know what? I I think you're right. I think you guys are right. I didn't get the brand, and because of this, I am going to drink White Claw every no, day no, until no, I get the brand. not you. No, it's too strong for you. Original Understudies. We're gathered here today to honor the life of Janet. Uh, she was a trusted friend, and though she disappeared three years ago, uh, We'll always remember her. <sighs> this is very difficult uh, for me. Uh, I just can't bury any more empty boxes this year. <sighs> it was nice of White Claw to provide the box. Um, so that was, they didn't have to do that. It was even no. nicer. But at least we didn't have it to buy a box. It was even nicer that they made it, you know, look like a, like a pack of White Claw. A mix pack too. Yeah. That's the nicest pack. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's a mix pack. Uh-huh. They, it's variety. Um, they did have one stipulation though. I have to um I have to read this out loud uh oh. before we before we continue. Of course. <clears throat> of course. Of course. White claw hard seltzer. It was your time to go. Drink white claw hard seltzer. <laughs> Could you could you put? I'm sorry for, oh, with yeah. the brand. Would you mind uh, oh. putting a little bit of a smile on it? Oh yeah, sure. Next time you like say a little it. rye, just a, a little, little rye, yeah, be yeah, a little, a little rye wrinkle, with it. Yeah, okay, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. White Claw Hard Seltzer. <laughs> Your life is over now, and everyone else is happier for it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Janet. Oh, Janet. Janet. Original on this one is. I wanted to talk to you about. Drinking and drugs and sex. Um, Your mother and I aren't comfortable talking about these things. But there are certain standards that we, as a family, think you should uphold as the, well, up and coming new generation of the family. Whatever, Dad. Just get it over with. Okay, well, let's start with drugs. Uh, We prefer. Did you bring any? any? What? Did you bring any? Well, no, I didn't bring it. Eh, wrong answer, Boomer. I don't care. Did you just call me Boomer? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? 
you just start a war, <laughs> like your whole generation. Oh, original understudies. Check it out. I got Advil. What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I took it from my dad's uh, stash. What? It's the coated kind. The kind that kind of looks like M&M's and tastes like pretty sweet if you suck on them. Oh. And then the coating will come off on your tongue. Wow, that'll take yeah. at least 45 minutes to get into our systems. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. You got a migraine? <laughs> Not anymore. No, those are a thing of the past. Yo, check it out. It's extra strange. What? Yeah. How'd you get that? I told you it's for my dad. Were you not listening at the beginning of no, this? No, you're right. I'm sorry. I was. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey you guys, you guys want to come over here? Just crush up some antihistamine. We're going <gasps> to we're gonna snort some lines of antihistamine over here if what? you want to get in on this. Oh, my body is going to be so not inflamed. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, do you guys want to boof some cortisone cream? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know I want to boof. I just like yeah. saying boof. Oh, it's a fun God. word, isn't it? This yeah. party is wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys all came to it because um, now we're going to go to my improv show. <laughs> Wait, what? what? No! What? No. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. The doors no. are locked. Oh, yeah. The doors are locked. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> to avoid the whole dilemma of having to drive from Hollywood to Santa Monica, we're going to do it here. <laughs> so no one's even worse. Ah. Oh, my God. I'm going to try to OD on this antihistamine. I got to move way more than this cortisone cream. Don't give me that. No. Um, we saw pictures of the party that you had last night, and it looked like people were doing rails up their ass of cortisone cream. That's not appreciated. We we support you as an artist and wanting to do improv for your friends, but your father and I do not allow b- boof boofing, boofing of anything. Yeah, um, anything. I I understand. I just. Improv has opened me up to a whole world. It seemed to have opened a lot of your friends up. Original anesthetics. Yeah, um, hi, Mrs. Carruthers. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like your, um, your uh, bowel movements, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty natural for a woman of your age to get backed up. We're just going to need you uh, to go ahead and take these... Um, Boof these pills here to just uh, clear you up. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. We, it's a suppository, standard suppository. We just need you to boof these bad boys uh, right up your butt and uh, everything should, you know, you should. There's got to be some other way to do these pills. I've been telling my daughter not to boof for a long time and that what a hypocrite I'd be. Uh, yeah, I don't. That's you sound like a bad mother, if I'm being honest. That's the. Hello, regional understudies. Mom. I found something in your drawer. You are not supposed to go into my drawers, but go on. I'm just, I'm disappointed. You're a hypocrite, but also I'm wondering now if we can have like a cool mom and daughter relationship where you allow me to boof in the house. We are not boofing together. That is not the kind of mother-daughter relationship. You won't buy me cream to boof with? Original and the studies. <laughs> Thank you so much. You don't want to talk about boofing anymore? Let's boof it up. I'm done with it. It does make me think about like, uh, you know, like all the, how how boomers are now like, all oh, these TikTok trends, everybody's eating Tide Pods. And it's like, they're just doing it on TikTok now. There's always been like stupid trends. Like when I was younger, it was like putting uh, like tampons full of like vodka up your butt and trying to get like. Well, I, I mean, the idea that like uh, that boomers are upset, like these are the people that like burned their draft cards. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's always been trends. Like, there's always been trends. Yeah, but they're mad that they didn't get likes for it. That's the yeah, problem. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're like, hey, I did a lot of crazy stuff, and nobody. Nobody paid attention to me at all. Nobody subscribed to me. <laughs> it's also like it's always like it, it, whatever big trend that they're like, yo, this generation is lost. It's like it, that's a very small sliver of people just online doing things for like it's not it's not like your grandkids are like just <laughs> popping Tide Pods like in their yeah. spare time, you know. <laughs> I think they're just it's mad because like, like, man, a Tide Pod looks delicious. I want to do that, but I can't. I know it's poison. 
I mean, they do kind of look like they do look like gummies. They look like if they were. <laughs> they should they make should them look delicious. so delicious. They know, they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> there's probably, they're probably like completely colorless, like the detergents. Like they could make them <laughs> the most colorless. Like Yeah, they, they could make it just look like a little like, I don't know, like a little like sack. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> just make sure when you sell Tide Pods, you have about half of them that are totally edible, filled with blueberry <laughs> yeah, jelly. Yeah, there is something a, about like bright sack. colors. <laughs> bright colors do look delicious. Yeah. Like when you get Give like a, a soda sack. and it's like really blue, like a really blue. Do you remember like Pepsi Blue? Pepsi Blue looked so good. <laughs> I don't remember ever. I, I I know of it, and I can vaguely remember Pepsi Clear, but. I feel like Pepsi is always supposed to be caramel colored. No, it yeah. didn't taste like Pepsi. It tasted, it was like blue flavored. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, I, blue I, flavored. I don't, you know, but I'm older now. I don't like that. Like I was uh, ordering something on Postmates once and I, and there was like a thing where it was like blueberry lemonade. And I was like, Oh, that sounds refreshing and delicious. And it was like one of those Calypso like bottled. Oh, with like the brew carousel? It was like, it was just the bluest, most disgusting looking. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was going to be like a, you know, come in a cup and a nice like homemade lemonade, but it was like the most like processed. <laughs> I didn't drink it. I was like, this looks so disgusting. <laughs> See, I'm the opposite. I like the more artificial and crazy it looks like, the more I want it. Like, you know those, you know how they make <laughs> like cakes now that are like completely like they're like those dome cakes that just have so much food coloring in them. They make them like now this Halloween season, there's like black ones and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to turn my whole mouth black. <laughs> It I want to look works like a all the way through your digestion system. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. They should do the <laughs> thing where they, because you know, nice like Doritos will have like a bag where there's there's like one chip that's like super spicy and they don't, it's just mixed in there. They should just sell Tide Pods, but like the one is the actual Tide Pod and the rest are edible. And so you're just going <laughs> to just like randomly find it. Wait, <laughs> yeah. hold on a second. Is the, you're, like you're talking like at the bottom of the bag, there'll be like a chip that's like, fully dusted in like spice no there's you- one chip there's like a there's they don't do it very often but sometimes they'll do like a like a, it's a mystery bag and in that bag there's one chip that's spiced differently than the rest of the chips but it what? is like super no, super don't. spicy are you, no, don't. Are you sure this isn't I'm, every I'm dream you had? like what are you talking <laughs> every about? bag of doritos i've ever opened has just been a whole bunch of shattered doritos <laughs> yeah, doritos just take taste like the uh, taco shells from taco bell I'm, this is, it's a special <laughs> kind of bag that they they'll do occasionally but yes, Jackie they made those shells take taste like Doritos <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that the, was point. the point of them. <laughs> original studies I need to speak to a manager now oh I'm the manager My daughter ate one of your little blue pods that you put inside the toilet to make the blue water to clean it. And she's dead. Dead, dead. Well, did she, um, did she buy the edible bag or the, the inedible bag? Because she bought the prettiest blue hockey puck this fucking place offered. And I am pissed. Now, you're lucky it's me in here, because if my wife comes through those doors, she's going to make this whole place regret feeding well, my me, daughter let me ask a blue this. hockey puck that was lethal. Let me ask you this. Are you more, you sound more angry than you are upset about your daughter's death. Are you sad? I'm in the anger phase right now. Yesterday, I was denying it. No, there's no way oh. that she ate that blue hockey puck, yeah. but her mouth was as blue as a Smurf's bottom. Right, I just needed to know what stage of grief you were on so that I can uh, fill out this paperwork correctly. We have a system okay, in yes. place because you cannot Good. imagine how many people get confused about our edible pods and our inedible pods. We put one inedible pod in a bag of edible pods as a mystery, as a mystery mystery bag uh so one one in about every 30 people get poisoned well this is bullshit okay so uh are we are we rolling oh yeah we're rolling okay great cascade toilet bowl tide pods there's one in every bag that'll kill you I love this. Once again, mm-hmm. rye. Yep. Let's try the outline. Okay. Outline. 
<clears throat> we rolling? We're rolling. Okay. Cascade Toilet Bowl Pods. Your life is shit. So is your toilet. Oh, you are making this so hard to choose. Original Understudies. Hey man, uh, you want the last uh you want the last Tide Pod? It's only one left in the bag. But every everybody else everybody else lived. Oh yeah, yeah. They're really good, man. You you do not and, and that's the that's the last one, huh? Yeah, it's the last one, man. Yeah. Everyone got one except for you. You just go for it, man. What, All right. Uh, what are you afraid? Are you afraid of dying? Are you afraid of transcending? No, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm invincible. I'm a teenager. Jake, uh, it, Johnny Johnny Jake, just ate his like a minute uh, ago. He he pod. could he could he could, uh, he could still die. Pod. Yeah, Jake, yeah, pod. I guess he could. Oh. oh god, oh god, I think mine's fine. Wait, kick kick. Oh, oh. Kick, okay, kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Got nice. you guys. <laughs> Way to go. Good one, good one. Because he, you know, that was funny because he, we thought for a second you were going to die, but it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be him. It's definitely going to be him. It's definitely going to be him. Hey, it's me, your inner monologue. What are you going to do? Are you going to wimp out in front of all your friends? No, can they hear me? Inner monologue, no, they can't. or is this just between- no? This is just between us right now. They can't okay, hear thank you. Thank God, thank God. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Oh, oh, are you scared of dying? Oh, oh, wait a second. I thought you were going to be on my side. No, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm. By default, I'm on your side. But I also sometimes I like to play devil's advocate. Okay, that makes sense. It's just that statistically I'm going to die if I eat this Tide Pod. Oh, what are you, some statistician now? What did you do, your homework? No, I, I didn't. I'm actually not even good at statistics. Okay. So maybe I am wrong. Yeah, maybe you're wrong. Maybe I'll just pop okay. on that pot in your mouth and chew it on okay. up and let it run oh. down your cheeks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Original Understudies. We're gathered here today to uh, bury another child who died. It was really nice of Tide to provide the casket. It is, it it is. Looks like a big box of pods. Yeah. Really nice. It's unfortunate that um, he didn't record himself. While he did it, and no likes, so, no likes, no likes. likes. I just, I don't look. I don't want to speak ill of someone at their own funeral, but the kids ahead, these days. This is the you last I mean, if you're gonna eat a Tide Pod, could you could you hold on one second? I brought this soapbox. I thought oh, it was yeah, going to be used for something yeah, else. You. Would yeah. you stand on it? Yeah, let me yeah, just get go up. Ahead. Yeah. Now. <laughs> What's the deal with kids these days? I mean, they're entitled. They love their avocado toast. <laughs> oh, is somebody streaming this? Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Original Understudies. Father McChristensen, we watched the <clears throat> live stream of the funeral you hosted the other yes. day. and. Well, one of your speakers, um, well, they they were pretty rude. Uh, uh, Father McChristensen, can you please, uh, you started uh, streaming this particular yeah. message and we, the diocese, have a problem with it. Oh, um, uh-huh. uh, yeah, sure, sure. You guys, uh, should I change my background? Are you open to notes? Are you oh, open to notes? Absolutely. I'm just thinking about maybe if I was wondering if the diocese could buy me some LED lights, you know, to just go in the background. A little make RGB, a little more. Uh, mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. some. Listen, yeah. uh, we've we've been paying attention to some trends. If you could, would you mind boofing this holy water? Oh, um, look, your eminence. You can say no. You can say no. My mother told me I'm never allowed to boof. It was just how I was raised. My mom just doesn't, she just, no. And just a little splash. Just a little splash. Yeah, a mini boof. <sighs> mini boof. Okay. Boof yeah. It. Okay, let's do it. it. Yes. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> this is going to be great. 
<laughs> I hope my we mom just, doesn't watch. We're just going to get a lot of subs is the thing. We just, that's what we want. And that's what's important, right? That's what's important? Yes. Yes. For, uh, by, a, by a long shot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Any other notes? Or um, do you guys, uh, did you, did you like it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I mean, no, no. did you? No, hey, but it got. It, I th- we think we're on the edge of getting some serious subs, and when we pass that plate, it's gonna be filling. <laughs> it's- uh, poof, you all thought that you were just at a church service, and this was a private oh. church service. What? This has been improv everywhere. Come on, guys, we're doing uh, the show. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, 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 oh no, the doors are locked. So the doors are all locked. Oh God, the doors are all locked. We can't get out. Thank you for listening to another episode of Original Understudies. This episode wouldn't be possible without our mastering engineer, Toivo Kaleo. Today's amazing cast has been Allison Kessler Colby, Aaron Martin, Mandy Rose, Mike Delarosso, Nicholas Ramirez, Paul Hatton, Sean Wormuth, and Will Morris. Unfortunately, they were unavailable to perform with us today, so the original understudies stepped in, and I think they did a damn good job. Now, there are no new reviews for me to read. I wish there were. But the truth is, I'm going to New York in the morning, and I'm recording a second outro right after the first one, so had there been two last week for the episode, I would read them both anyways. So, But still, please, put reviews out there. It is actually helping a lot. And secondly, send an email to originalunderstudiespodcast at gmail.com and either give me a suggestion for what you'd like to inspire our show with, or perhaps if you want help getting into the Discord server. I would love you to be part of the community I'm trying to build over there. Until next week. Original Understudies. <laughs> <laughs>